Hi gorgeous, my name is Joanna Sosa and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the description below, I will be unboxing my BoxyCharm and my Ipsy. This video took forever for me to post up just because, well, not like I have a set schedule or anything, but it took me longer to record this video um, just because my Ipsy bag, for some reason this month, it took forever for it to come. But I finally received it a few days ago and I'm going to get this video up. If you guys are not familiar with me, my name is Joanna Sosa. I like to upload all types of videos. I'm trying to be more consistent with my videos, but it's so hard when I'm doing a bunch of things throughout the day and I just never really have time to actually sit down and just like comfortably record <laughs> and I just found a moment to actually squeeze it in so that's what I'm gonna do right now but yeah let's just jump into the video first I'm gonna start with my boxy charm because I received my boxy charm first so I just want to really unbox it because I really want to see what it is that I have received this month. I have seen a few videos and my friend she does have BoxyCharm and I kind of seen what she has. It's like a little spoiler I guess you could say but I don't really care because not every box is the same and I kind of like to know what I'm getting but still be surprised at the same time if that makes sense but let me not ramble on. Um, This is the BoxyCharm if you guys are not familiar with it which I'm hoping you guys are because if you're not then I don't know what rock you've been living under because this box uh, is one of my favorite subscriptions. It's $21 a month that's not including with tax and you get 5 full products. It ranges from 4 to 5 but majority of the time you do get 5. Mostly what I have noticed with BoxyCharm throughout the month that have been subscribed is that you do receive a palette with each box. If not you get something like that. If not something better. So let's just jump into the unboxing. Of course I'm making a video and I'm never prepared. <sighs> Straight from opening this box, it always comes with a little pamphlet right on top. And this month, it says totally. I got number two this month. I'm just going to leave it to the side because it has all the pricing and everything. So, I don't want to be too, too spoiled. So, the first thing that I pulled out here is a Hydro Mist Set and Refresh Powder from Becca. But this is a set and chill. I've seen some reviews that when you leave this on your skin, it gives it like a cool mist. Keep me close to keep me cool. I'm so scared to open this. I feel like I always have trouble opening this. So careful with this. I don't spill. Oh. I just have a little bit of powder in my fingers right now. And I definitely do feel the the cool mist from it. This is my first Becca product. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's very translucent. The cool thing about this. I don't know if anybody does own this Becca product. But it has like a little cushion. Which is pretty cool and neat. It's just a normal translucent color. And literally it's at least like a nice cool feel to it. Which is pretty cool. Especially now since like summer. But that is the first product that I did receive this month. And I'm honestly, I'm very excited to use this product. I am planning to make a video which is so off topic of like a get ready with me. So I might use this. That's the first product that I did receive. That retails for $39. So already just by that, you're getting way more than what you purchase um the next thing that i did receive in here ooh, is ace beauty so i'm very excited to find out how this gold applies i prefer gold and it feels very like silky to me but this is the first Ooh, i like it i definitely see myself using this it has a lot of shimmer to it it doesn't show the shimmer here but after you swatch it on yourself you see that it leaves like a glitter to it which is nothing too serious, but it looks really pretty in my opinion. Let's remind me of ColourPop, just the packaging of it. I'll tell you what colors I received, I'm sorry. This one is Ice Latte, and this one is Cotton Candy. Use a different finger. This one looks okay. It doesn't really look like a color I will go crazy for. I'm not a big fan of this one, the Cotton Candy color. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not. It's so rare if I'm gonna use this, I can already tell. Like, I'm most likely gonna be using Ice Latte more than the cotton candy like the cotton candy color is not ugly in my opinion but it's just not a color that i could see smacking on my eye the majority of the time i mean i might i could see myself reaching out for the ice latte more those dual ice beauty retails for 25 dollars it's a high pigment soft shadow with a creamy texture it's designed for ultra color payoff these shadows provide both colors in one side without fallout creasing or fading so 
We'll see. Next thing that I received here was the Wonder Beauty. It's very common to receive Wonder Beauty and BoxyCharm. Um, this is a glow ahead luminating, <laughs> luminating face oil. I'm sorry, because not that I'm talking weird, but I was sick a few days ago, so I'm like recovering from it. Thank God. Ooh. I was not expecting that. It's pink. It's so cute, right? <laughs> It doesn't just feel like oil. It doesn't feel like oil, like if you're putting like a um, like a serum on or something. But it does feel like watery. Like it doesn't really feel like an oil. It feels like water, like a light serum. I don't really consider this oil. I don't really see a lumen. It literally feels like I just apply water to my hands. I'm gonna see how that works another time. I just hope it doesn't give me like too much oil on my face or too much like bam I'm, I'm trying to blind you just because my face is very oily so i am gonna give it a try just to see how it works but basically i don't see myself using that until i do pop this baby out so that retails for 42 dollars another multi-tasking beauty it hydrates it absorbs the skin leaving a bouncy youthful complexion no matter what skin type you have We'll see. Next thing that is in here is a Steve Lauren, which I think I received this, if I'm not mistaken, last month or the month before. I really hate these plastics. So I received mine in the color Cheek. And if you guys do know me or are starting to watch my videos, you guys know that I am not a huge fan of wood pencil. This is a nice color though, I'm not going to lie. But I could see myself using this as a as a lip liner. Maybe fading it in while I put like a nice little color on top. It kind of looks like, like a dark purple with a hint of brown in it. I thought from the packaging it was going to be brown. I could work with this color. A color that I normally use in the winter anyways. I do like this. I don't like the fact that it's wood though, but can't complain too much. So reshape, resize redefine eh, blah 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 it's smooth over your lids for steamless well, huh? who cares completely waterproof so no transferring or bleeding all day lasts up to seven hours and this retails for $15 Ooh. I see if you asked me I wouldn't pay $15 for that but getting it in a subscription box that's only $21 I guess I can't complain and the last thing that I did receive is the Tarte Big Eagle Mascara. Let your lashes be full of themselves. And I got mine in the color black, which is good because I... That was such a struggle trying to bend down. You know, the thing was, I can't see myself using a mascara that is not black. Maybe dark brown, but black is my go-to. It's just a typical, normal little wand. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it or not. I'm not a big fan of the size of the wand. I mostly like mine to be a little bit more skinnier. Like um, the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. That's like my type of mascara wand that I do like. With double fiber bristle for max pigment glow. But this kind of reminds me of the better, better than sex mascara. Just the way the wand looks. Call me crazy or not, but I love that mascara. I love the formula, but I hate the wand. This is what... The big eagle reminded me of. So hopefully this mascara is good. If not, then I might be sticking a different one in here. To be completely honest when I do use it. And that retails for $23. To me it was worth it. I do like everything that I did receive. Um, my favorite product is the Becca. And the Ace Beauty. And I kind of like this color of this lip liner pencil. Even though I'm not a huge fan of wood. But... These are my three favorite products. Honestly, I'm not so picky with everything. So I like it. If you like it, then I'm telling you, don't forget to subscribe. Jumping on to the next is my Ipsy, which I am excited about. Just like I said before, I received this a few days ago. And I'm just going to run through it like I did with the Bodicy Charm. In case you guys are not familiar with this subscription, it's $10 a month. You get five travel size products. Sometimes if you're lucky, you'll get like a full size product. But to be completely honest, at least with me, that's so rare. But overall, I do like this. I like it because you get like a little nice little bag which you could just throw in your purse. And you could always switch it up. I just like to receive new products that most likely I will never go grab. And it's great because sometimes I do end up liking it or going out and purchasing it or going on Amazon or something and purchasing the item just for ten dollars anyways like you're winning I think everything you're winning is ten dollars so if you go for it I say go for it and let me just stop talking so much and pull this sucker out oh yeah I forgot about that well first thing first is this bag which 
honestly i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling the color i really like it it has like um studs i remember back then like when i was like in i think middle school or high school i forgot which one it was in style like the studs and everything i really do like this in the back i actually did receive a brush and it's from firma beauty and i actually got this with my extra points once you accumulate a certain amount of points from like reviewing your products that you receive in your ipsy monthly you get points and with those points you could buy stuff with it so this is something that i did purchase with my points and it's just a normal angle brush and I mean, see, it feels really good. I don't remember exactly how many points I used to purchase this. I think it was like 600 points or something. But like I said, your point add up. Like if you're consistent with it every single month, you do get free products. So it's like win, win, win. You might as well review it because now you're going to let your points fly away at me. I don't know if fly away. So getting to the actual little Ipsy. I am going to leave the link down below in case you are interested in purchasing Ipsy. I'm thinking about upgrading to the Ipsy Plus, but I'm not sure. Let me stop rumbling off because you're like, gosh, hurry up. So let's just start pulling things up. I feel some bubble wrap. So I love bubble wrap. First thing that I pulled out here is the from the brand Pixie. And it's a blush, right? If I'm not mistaken, yeah. I got mine in the color Peach Parfait. Yeah, it's a fresh face blush. Let's swatch the color. Oh, there's a nice little pink. It has like a gold shimmer to it. I don't know. I just added some light. Maybe that works. But yeah, I'm not, I don't know. I, I will have to try this on my face. Uh, let's see. Next thing that I pulled out here is Salvia Beauty. It's an eyeshadow. And I got mine in the color barbecue. Hmm, barbecue, it makes me think of brown. So hopefully it is brown because I'm so basic. Oh no, actually it's not. At least for me, I would think that it will be coming brown. But this is a purple color. Oh, it's nice and dark. I love purple. Purple is my favorite color, by the way. And it feels nice and creamy. This is the color of it. It's really nice. It's very deep. It's like a deep plum it has like a silver reflection to it um next thing that i received here is smile in your incredible jelly shop lip quencher x revenge is the color that i received oh my god this is so cute it literally has like a little flower in it oh my gosh it's so beautiful i love it you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to play around with like fake lipstick. That's what it feels like. Like it feels like chapstick but I don't know. This is so weird. I love the fact that it has a little daisy flower inside of it. That's my favorite flower, daisy flowers. You know I just noticed I never pulled out the plant food for this month. I'm horrible with it. So off top, let's take a break from the product. For the month of August, and this month is Bury Yourself had the prize which i'm not gonna open it but i just didn't wanted to throw that out there because i just pulled it out i'm like oh snap i got a nail polish in here this is from the brand nail ink be your incredible self i got mine in the color feeling feelings oh my gosh i love this color and the small is not strong either but yeah this is the color that i did receive um, and i'm gonna paint my nails with this color it's like a nice pink color with like a hint of like some silver in it like it's such a pretty pink color if my nails wasn't in it, I would test it on one of my fingers, but it is. I really like that color though, because I'm really like, obsessed with the color pink, like baby pink. Ooh. And the last thing that I got here is Coco Cabana Cream. I don't have anything like this, but my friend, she actually was showing me this jar that she just loves this. And this is a the instant rush of hydration for visual, luxurious skin and lasting moisture. Ooh. I love the smell. It smells like a fresh coconut. No, you know what it smells like? It smells like coconut, but like um the Bath and Body Works, the the toasted marshmallow spray. That's what it smells like. In case you guys were wondering, but it smells so good. That does feel a little hydrating. It doesn't feel silky or oily. But I'm obsessed with this smell. I can't wait to apply this. It's a body cream. The 72 hour moisture uh, magnet oil in water body cream. I'm really excited to use this. I love the smell of it. So I might end up just purchasing the whole big thing. So that was the last product that I did receive in my Ipsy. But yeah, this jelly shot is a uh, hint of moisture. So Apply to matte lip colors to get lip flick free. Oh, so this what this basically is, is if you apply it under your matte lip colors, you won't get like that flakiness. Like your lips are about to like fall off your lips or you could dab a little 
on top of like the, the lip stain so I guess it hydrates it or makes it last longer. The nail polish that I did receive from Nails Inc. is Vitamin Infuse. Beloved by all nail artists around the world. I was just trying to see if it has like because some nail polishes don't have like the harsh chemicals. Like the purple one that I have right now from PS. It doesn't have like those harsh chemicals which it's kind of good especially now because i don't want to be breathing in all those chemicals or applying them to my fingers but that's it the pixie face blush um it's just a normal blush doesn't seem like anything special it does have a light golden sheen see i knew it but i know my eyes weren't going crazy it definitely had a gold a gold sheen to it the coco cabana cream it just hydrates like i said before and you put it all over your body especially when your your body's all damp which is something i normally do i'm gonna give this a try and see how good it works because I never used this brand before and last but not least the Savia Beauty eyeshadow and barbecue it's just a normal standard eyeshadow I don't see anything special about this eyeshadow plus this plum foil face so it's a foil finish I guess I could see that's a full finish. Doesn't even notice that we're paying any mind to it. So those are the five products that I received this month for Ipsy. And honestly, I really like this month. I could definitely see myself using every single product. And I know you guys are tired of hearing me say that, but honestly, like I am beyond excited for me to use all these products. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope you guys do subscribe to at least one of them. Either the Boxy or the Ipsy. You can't go wrong. $21 before tax or $10 straight flat. You can't go wrong because you get to try out new products that you most likely won't purchase on your own. Like if you're going to go to like Ultra Beauty or something. Or Sephora whatever online. And you might just grow past it and end up really liking this. I definitely think it's a good to try it out. So that's pretty much it for this video. If if you guys are not already don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you are subscribed to my channel if not it's okay just don't subscribe no hard feelings at all don't have anything really else to say so i'll see you guys again soon and i hope you guys enjoy my videos so bye gorgeous <laughs>